first time I started really, uh, that I was really exposed to Tibetan culture, I was in Nepal, and I was trekking in the Himalayas, and, uh, and I met some Tibetan refugees that had just come over the mountains, they were on their way to India to meet the Dalai Lama, and uh, they explained that they weren't going to go back to Tibet until Tibet was free. The more I got involved with, um, with the Tibetan cause, I just started realizing that, that the only way a change is going to come about is through spreading awareness because our government isn't going to take a stand unless they're forced to. Our corporations aren't going to take a stand unless they're forced to. And so the only way that, uh, that the change is going to come about is through mass public awareness. And the area that I'm able to help out with that is through music. Miller Rippa was founded originally uh, with royalties that came from the publishing from two songs we'd done on the Il Communication album. Well, my name is Pierre. I came from France to cover the Beastie Boys. I'm a big fan of Bjork, uh, Yoko Ono. I love all this music, all this type of thing, you know. I'm very happy. I've got an hour, everything is great. We have a mobile television. We are covering it for all of France, uh, you know, from all the way in Lyon up to the uh, far north, the Alps, the upper zone. No, no, just me. I decided to take all the uh, nervous tension on the shows myself. like the music? Yes, very good. What, what, what bands in particular, do you remember the names at all? Uh, yesterday, there's the one, uh, Pizza T, Pizza, 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 Peter? Pizza Boy, Pizza Boy. Pizza Boy? Don't smash it, but they call that Pizza or uh, oh, Pizza boy. boy, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like boy. Yes. Yeah. So, here is Adam Horowitz from Beastie Boys. And I have a couple questions. So, what do you think about Tibet? What do I think about Tibet? Well, I think about it. I think of a place. Me too. I, I was thinking about 
think about it. I've never been there, so I can just only think about it. Exactly, me too. Yeah. Uh, dear Mr. President, <laughs> 30,000 of the participants signed the enclosed letter to you. Each signature represents an individual asking you to support Tibet. We, the people of America, call on you as a world leader and as President of the United States to act now. I will continue to speak out until there is concrete evidence that you are not double talking around the issues, but acting to change them. I don't think he's going to read it. I don't really think he cares.